how to add users and gift workers access to your Shopify store. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can add users onto your Shopify store. Now, users and collaborators are two different things on Shopify and Shopify has three plans and adding users is not included on the basic plan of Shopify. So we're going to discuss all of this in detail and how you can add them step by step. So to get started, all you have to do is scroll down and I'm going to discuss the pricing first. So you guys can see Shopify has three basic plans and then you have their plus plan. This is more so built for enterprises. Now, on your basic plan, if you scroll down and compare the features, you will see the basic plan does not have any additional staff accounts. However, below that, you will see collaborator accounts, which allows third party designers, developers, marketing experts to have limited access to your store. Now, what is the difference between the two? Staff accounts are built specifically for people to help you run your store. This includes people who can edit product pages, customer data, accept orders, fulfill orders, and more. These accounts are not included on the basic plan. However, you can create five accounts on the next plan and then 15 on the next. However, collaborator accounts are allowed on all plans. So what's the difference? Collaborator accounts usually are very limited access accounts that do not make a lot of changes, that are not able to make changes towards your products, towards the customers, towards your orders. And they are usually third-party designers or marketing experts that can change the SEO, that can use the marketing tools, that can set up your Shopify store design, edit the code of the store to elevate your store. So these are two completely different things. And if you're on the basic plan on Shopify and you want to add someone to help you in managing your store, you're not going to be able to do that with this basic plan on Shopify. You're going to have to upgrade. But the best part about Shopify is that you can get a one month trial for only a dollar, which will allow you to see the next plan up, which is the Shopify plan that can help you in making sure that the features that you need are present. So let's log on to our Shopify dashboard and get into users and permissions and how we can add users and give them permissions. So to get started, simply log on to your Shopify dashboard and then you are going to click on settings on the bottom left. Once you click on settings on the bottom left, you are going to click on users and permissions. Once you click on users and permissions on the left, you will see your permissions. First off, you will see your store owner. That is going to be you yourself. And you have to note that some owner permissions can't be assigned to staff members. Then on the top right, you have the option to transfer your ownership in case you are switching your store and you are you know, giving ownership of this store to someone else. Below that, you have staff accounts. As I am on the basic plan on Shopify, I do not have any options to add staff accounts, but on a premium plan, you would. Below that, you will have a collaborator option. So this is to allow developers, designers, marketers to access your Shopify's admin, and only people with a collaborator request code can send a collaborator request or anyone can send a collaborator request. Now, these are two options. You can choose either one uh, for your security, for the security of your store. I recommend the second option. Then if you have a new collaborator that you're trying to add, first, you're just going to copy this code and send it to your collaborator. Then they are going to be able to request to be a collaborator and then you can accept their request. But we are focusing on staff accounts and users. We're going to click on upgrade plan and select the Shopify plan. As you guys can see, this is the plan that we have and we are going to go on ahead and we are going to go with the monthly plan. Click on subscribe. Once we click on subscribe over here, this is going to be the same plan that we are upgrading. 
And now that we have upgraded our plan, you guys can see I have five staff members that I can add. So now I'm going to click on users and permissions on the left. You can also access this by going into your search bar on your Shopify dashboard and just search for users. And this will open up users and permissions in your settings tab. Over here, you're going to click on add staff and you're going to add your staff member. So let's say we have Anna Wintour and then you're going to enter the email address of that staff member. So I'm going to add an email address like so. And once you do that, you are going to then select the store permissions. Now, not only do you have store permissions, you also have point of access sale as well as app permissions that you're going to customize. So we can click on expand all. So let's say I want to give them home permissions. I want this staff member to manage orders. And let's say I don't want them to, let's say I don't want them to delete orders. That is one permission I don't want. And I don't want them to buy shipping labels, let's say. And after that, I have the option to draft orders. So I don't want them to draft any orders but I do want them to be able to view the cost of products as well as maybe, um, yeah, I don't want them to have any other permissions. Then I want them to be able to manage customers. So I want them to view customers and I want them to view store credit transactions, but I don't want them to be able to edit any of this stuff. I want them to be able to request data and you can see, when you trigger options like these, Shopify in itself will tell you that this is a sensitive permission. So you need to ensure that you are delegating these authorities actually very carefully because this is a lot of your store info. Then after that, I don't want them to have any analytical info. I want this person, Anna, to be able to just manage my store in terms of managing orders and serve as a, you know, as a customer support agent. So below that, I have the online store info. They don't need to access any of that. I don't want them to be able to revoke any access tokens or, you know, manage users. And once everything has been completed, I can go into the app permissions. I want them to be able to work in the email application, but no other application. And then I can click on send invite. And once I click on send invite, the person will be sent an invitation. So what is it going to look like on the user end? Well, if I open up my secondary mailbox over here, I can go into my email and you guys can see I have a Spencer account info. So I can click on create staff account and now I can just create my account or, you know, with my other email address, this is going to be your secondary person, the user that you're adding. They will just click on this icon. And then they will be able to create their account or if they already have one, log on to their account and then be able to join as a staff member on your Shopify store. It's really that simple and easy to add users and give them permissions and make your life easier with these user permissions because managing your store on your own can be one hell of a task and adding users to manage individual sections, maybe such as your customers or your ordering, your fulfillment can help you in a lot of aspects. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.